First goniometry measurement for the hip is going to be for flexion. Normal flexion is uh, 120 degrees. Our fulcrum is going to be on the greater trochanter at the, on the lateral side of the hip. I'm going to have the patient uh, in a supine position with his leg extended and his knee extended um, and as uh, close to the edge of the table as possible. And um, I'm going to try to locate his greater trochanter uh, on his hip. I may ask him to um, internally and externally rotate the hip just so I, I might be able to feel a little bit better. Uh, once I found it, I am going to um, go ahead and um, align my, the center or the fulcrum of my goniometer on that. Um, my uh, uh, stationary arm is going to be along the axis of the midline of the pelvis um, or the um, spine or, or thorax um, is going to be your stationary arm, uh, this one up here. And then the moving arm is going to be in midline of the uh, uh, femur. Okay. Then I'm going to um, ask him to uh, uh, flex his hip. All of my lines uh, parallel and aligned. And then I would take my measurement and for 120 degrees. Next goniometry is going to be hip extension. Uh, for this, I'm going to have him in a prone position. Uh, again, uh, with his uh, uh, knee extended down the table. Uh, and again, towards the edge of the table so I can get a better reading of this. And again, my uh, fulcrum is going to be at the uh, greater trochanter. Again, I can have them ex internally and externally rotate the hip just to make sure that's where it is. Uh, my uh, moving arm or my stationary arm is going to be um, like flexion is going to be at uh, the midline of the thorax or parallel to it and that's the stationary arm and then the moving arm is going to be uh, midline of the femur just like the uh, hip flexion um, and then we're going to have uh, have them uh, hyperextend or we can help them hype, um, extend the, the hip backwards and trying to keep the hip on the or the on the table and then we would take our make sure we maintain our uh, landmarks at the thorax at the femur and the greater trochanter and go ahead relax normal reading for this is going to be 20 degrees next goniometry measurement is going to be for hip abduction abduction and for this we're going to have them uh, in a supine position um, with both uh, legs and knees um, ex extended um, and uh, for this one I'm going to um, locate the, uh, the ASIS uh, on the side that you're testing is going to be my fulcrum um, and then the stationary arm is going to be um, uh, parallel line between the ASIS and the ASIS of the other side and then the moving arm is going to be in the midline of the femur okay then I'm going to ask him to um, abduct the hip making sure that my landmarks are fulcrum are still in line and normal for this would be uh, 40 degrees. Next so we're going to do hip adduction, adduction. And for this one, I'm going to have him supine on the table, again with the, both legs extended. And I'm going to have him abduct the opposite leg over so that we have room to move his uh, the leg that we're testing uh, inwards in this direction. So um, again, I'm going to find the same fulcrum. It's going to be here on the uh, ASIS, on the leg that you're testing. Again, uh, the, align, your stationary arm is going to be 
uh, parallel uh, between those two points and then your moving arm is going to be uh, down here in line with the midline of the femur. Okay, and then I'm going to ask him to uh, keep his legs straight. I'm going to have him uh, adduct. Again, checking to make sure that all of these are still in line. And then normal for this would be 20 degrees.